Hey guys, Brandon here with another video. And today it's gonna to be another project series type video where we're gonna go over just a couple of animals within a very similar project and just a few of my thoughts on those. So let's get into these animals. So this is the topic of today's conversation. This is a confusion hurricane and I'm mostly gonna be focusing on the confusion slash acid gene uh, for this video, I really like what it does. It does a lot of really cool stuff. It darkens up the animal. It also adds a lot of these kind of splotches and dots and stuff along the body, which I think is really cool. There are so many different kind of looks that you can get. Some of them are definitely more high expression and some of them are lower expression. This example again has hurricane, so that probably affects some of the look that it has, but even without hurricane, they can still be really high expression. So I'm gonna grab another one to pull out just to show off to. So here we have a yellow belly confusion, and you can tell that the blacks are still nice and dark, but the alien heads themselves are actually not as dark, and they're also not necessarily as aberrant you have a lot of kind of open, or you have a lot of, I guess, the same kind of acid effect, which is a lot of these little keyholes and stuff dripping down into the saddles. You also have the same really, really dark kind of contrast in between those alien heads. The difference with the hurricane is it's not as, I guess, broken up or kind of chiseled out as much. The eye holes that you get within these alien heads are also very firm in the sense that the other ones you kind of lose a little bit of contrast, like they get a little kind of fuzzy, like it's not as complete of a dot or circle as it was in the uh, hurricane confusion. Here we have another really good example. This time we're actually mixing black pastel in with the confusion acid. So what you're getting here is a lot more blacks, but this the alien head colors are broken up because of what kind of black pastel does, you know, to just saddles in general. And you're also ending up with a really kind of darker, I wouldn't necessarily say dull animal, but it definitely loses a little bit of the pop. But there's a reason for that. This animal is also het for exanthic. So the end goal or something that can be done with this is basically to make this animal exanthic. And then what if you make this animal say, you know, a true ghost. So now you have a VPI exanthic hypo or you have a, you know, VPI exanthic DG acid, you know, black pastel. Like this animal would look awesome with all of those genes. And you can see like a lot of the really heavy influenced kind of splattering within those alien heads, that yellow belly kind of tightened up a little bit more. So there's so much variety that you can have just with animals within this same project. Such a beautiful animal and so many cool opportunities and possibilities of things to do with this color palette and this pattern. So the other animals that I had shown well, this one here is the confusion yellow belly that I had shown earlier. And right here we have one of my prettier um, confusion animals. This animal here is a hypo confusion. So, again, now you can really kind of see the difference between a hypo and a regular confusion. I really love what happens with the hypo and how it lightens and brightens everything up. And it gives that overall kind of, I don't know, fuzzy somewhat lower contrast look, but there's a lot of op options and opportunities with different things that you can make using both of these different color palettes. And I think there's a lot of really neat stuff to do, mostly putting this stuff within the sunset project. I think that would look really cool. But another animal that I would really, really like to take in to this specifically and he's just gonna make a quick little guest appearance here, is, oh, chill out, chill out, is my Hypo Rainbow. And this is also a super hurricane, so it's a super hurricane Hypo Rainbow. 
And I think once you start adding in, let me move them to the back so you can see them a little bit better. Once you start putting in this kind of color with these dark mutations, I think overall you're going to end up with a really, really cool look. And I think the darker mutations, such as acid or confusion, into the rainbow color palette, you are really going to end up with some animals that stay amazing into adulthood, and they're going to turn out just so cool. I don't think that it would be hard to imagine a animal with the kind of color and pattern that this boy has, just a little bit darker to really kind of bring out those purple colors and really kind of enhance those creams. I think it would just be phenomenal. And one way that we're gonna be able to do that here is by using this hypo acid female down the road um, to make these projects really come true. So now that you've seen them, let me know what you think about them in the comments below. It's gonna be a little bit before we start getting some of these animals in projects that we are producing, but it's really fun and exciting to bring some of this stuff up. As always, feel free to check out our morph market and find something for a newer existing project. And also let me know kind of what you would like to see out of these videos. I'm kind of debating going into some sort of, not necessarily a vlog type thing, but maybe just a, well, maybe a daily or maybe every two or three days or something, just kind of like having a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking about cool stuff that I've seen on Morph Market, stuff that I'm looking at, stuff that I think like looks really cool or something that I get like an idea for why this would be like a good direction to go. And maybe just like a touching base of like, you know, this is the stuff that I'm gonna try and accomplish today to get things done kind of around, you know, the snake room or otherwise. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments below also. And um, like I mentioned, if there's something that you think you would potentially benefit or other people would potentially benefit from hearing about for whatever reason about my take on whatever, and you know, just leave it in the comments down below. I'll check it out or shoot me a message on Instagram or whatever. Um, you know, I just kind of want to get this channel up and going and a little bit more maybe personable and a little bit more enjoyable to just kind of like listen to and just some stuff to think about. Either way, thanks again for taking your time to watch the video and we'll see you in the next one.